everyone welcome to my channel thank you for stopping by and watching my videos I appreciate each and every one of you and today I would like to share a couple of things with you uh, first I would like to show you these vintage ballerina pictures they're from the 1960s and even earlier than that um, these were um, all my mother's pictures and they've inspired me throughout the years and I'd like to share them with you and then we're going to be working on a, a project that I'm working on and um, it's it will be an envelope journal tutorial so stay tuned um, so I hope that you all are having a lovely day and I just want to share these pictures with you. I have a lot more than this, but I just want to share this with you because I was thinking about making um, a ballerina journal. So this one, um, you can even see her name in here. And my mom wrote down Swan Lake. So the, these are very vintage. And I've noticed with my copy machine that I actually have to take pictures of these first and not actually copy them. So I have to take pictures first, then print them out because they look a lot better that way. So, and then here's another one. <clears throat> All these ladies inspired me when I was younger. I looked up to these ladies and this is Tony, Tony Launder. And the, um, the theme, this one is a very hard picture to print out. I've been trying and it doesn't get the background at all. And these are such old pictures that when you copy them, they have lines in them. So they're very old. So I just want to share these with you. They're, they're so much fun to look at. And I was thinking about making a ballerina journal. So let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see me make one. Even the men. <laughs> and these are all from Swan Lake. So you could kind of see their the feathers on their head. It's Swan Lake ballerinas. And then this one as well. Vika Lejong. She was uh, my favorite ballerina growing up. And uh, all their names are on here. And even more back on the back side. Now these are pictures that I have taken. And this is just chiffon, lace, and peachy pearls. And then this up here is ballerina shoes, my mom's ballerina toe shoes. So that was the very first thing that I altered when I received her things. I, I, uh, I have my ballet slippers that I have not altered yet, but I, I altered hers first. And I put that vintage lace that I adore on it with pearl trim and two pink rose appliques. And those rosebuds, those pink rosebuds, my mom made those and sewed them on to pink ribbon. So I put those in her shoes. And then the ballerina um, ribbon that was on the toe shoe was completely molded. So I, I just cut that right off and put the lace inside the slipper. And um, I put the pearls in the lace to hang them. So I thought I would just share these fun pictures with you. Here's my ballet slippers. So I took that picture with the peachy pearls and a ballet skirt and then a chiffon nightgown that um, I bought off of Etsy with my mom's toe shoes and then mine are next to her. So I just wanted to share these with you. So much fun. And then these are just some images I got off of Pinterest. So you can look these up yourself. I love this one. And I was thinking about collaging some of these um, with, with mine. So just something different, you know. I love this ballerina costume. It's so pretty. So, um, 
So some are Pinterest and then some are mine. But I just wanted to share that real quick with you. Just let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see a ballerina journal. I was thinking about doing it. I, I know there's lots of ballerina journals on Etsy or not journals, kits, ballerina kits that I could purchase. But I would like to just make my own. Um, it just would be special that way. And I could even use, you know, the fabric from my dance outfits, which would be fun. Okay, so I bought these envelopes from Dollar Tree. So these are the small ones. And then this is the big one. And I got these from Dollar Tree. And when I saw these at Dollar Tree, I was like, you know what? I am going to make me an envelope journal. I have not done one yet. So here's a quick tutorial. I have eight tall envelopes and four small envelopes. And I went ahead and writ dyed my paper and inked it as well. So you want a piece of paper on both sides of your envelope. And you could use whatever you'd wish. Now I'll show you the theme for this uh, journal. I think I'll do that Friday afternoon. So stay tuned for that video for the kit I will be using for this one. But you want to take your first envelope. Now, I guess we should remove all the paper from here. So this is my front, my first two. So let's go ahead and take these all off. I hope that um, everybody's having a wonderful day today. It's very warm here. It's like 81 degrees. <laughs> 81 already. Okay. So I went ahead and pre-cutted these so they weren't pre-cut these so they didn't it, the video wasn't so long. And then let's go ahead and remove these. So you don't want to glue the papers on beforehand because we're going to be tucking and we're going to be covering up the edges of the envelopes. And I'm sure there's a bunch of envelope tutorials. I've seen a bunch of them that have inspired me to do this, but um, I don't know if this somebody has already done this style or not, but... Um, I didn't watch a video on this. Okay, so you want to turn one envelope like this. And so this will be your front cover. Okay. And then um, <clears throat> I'm battling allergies. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so then you want to take your other seven envelopes and you could actually make this bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and glue all these to each other. I think that would be a good idea. That's a good start. So I'm just using regular tacky glue for this. So let's go ahead and start gluing these down. Now I was even thinking too, we need to cut a couple of tuck spots. So before I glue any more, we need to figure out where our tuck spots are going to be. So this is number two page. So I would like a tuck spot in this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut off just a little bit off the edge for a tuck spot. So that's number two. So I've already made one of these and it took me 20 minutes the other day. You want to make sure that they're pretty much even too. Okay, so that's the second page. This is the first page over here. So let's go ahead and glue this. 
and you just want to stack them on top of each other or I'm actually putting it below the second one just push down Make sure they're kind of they're lined up together very well see they're already coming together as a page so we have except I got glue right here oops it's okay it'll be covered up with see how the pages are coming together so let's keep gluing these all right and on the last page here I'm going to cut another tuck spot so make sure you don't do it upside down like I was just getting ready to do and you just want to cut off the top there and then let's put glue on the last one now you could do side tucks but I'm gonna do side tucks with the smaller envelopes I want to do the tall tucks okay so we have seven envelopes glued glued together so we have one two you can see the you could actually see the pages now and don't worry about the envelope showing Now, before we glue this into here, let's, uh, I'm going to save two of these for the front page, the two small envelopes. I would like to put, okay, so we have a tuck spot on the second one and the last one. So I'm going to put a tuck spot here. Let's uh, put it more towards the front. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. Okay, so you see how you see that on that side so that will be like that and I'm going to do a side tuck so I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this could have done it before I glued it on it probably would have been a little bit easier I might as well do that for the back page Okay, so we have glued the tuck spots in here and see where there's going to be a tuck spot there and a tuck spot on top of here. And also I was going to bring out this last page just a little bit while the glue is still wet because I'm going to put papers in here. And then here's a tuck spot. So now we're going to glue the this all of these inside the first one. So now we're going to do that. Okay, so let's put a little glue back here. And then now we're going to tuck it in here. See how easy and fun this is with the envelopes? Now we don't want to glue this down just yet. And if they're a little uneven, that's okay because we're going to put lace all over it in trims in a closure so you're not even going to be able to tell so I'm going to put a little bit of glue in there now these are so fun to make I encourage you all to just make one they are just so much fun okay so there that is we already have our journal already ready to go now 
I would like to put this here and I would like to put this on the back cover. So this is going to be on the front and back, like, like that. So then you're going to open your journal like this and this, and then you can open up. Now don't worry about any of these because they're, they're all going to be covered with papers. So let me see here. Oh, and I wanted to let you, you all know um, uh, I was thinking about opening up an Etsy store. That way, when I am finished with a project, I'll put it in my Etsy store, and then you could just go to the Etsy store and purchase it if you'd wish. So let me know down in the comments down below if you would like to see me have an Etsy store. Okay, now I don't know if I want both of them to have tuck spots because I might put a lace tuck spot in here and not on the front cover. I might just do a picture of toe shoes or something. Or I don't even know if this is even going to be a ballet one. I think this one's going to be something different that I'll show you on Friday. Um, hmm. Why don't we have... Well, I think we should put a tuck spot because if I close it I don't need anything hanging out here let's do it let's do a tuck spot on on the top on both of them All right, so let's go ahead and glue these down. Oh yeah, this is so fun. When I was playing around the other day, I was like, oh, this is so fun and so easy. And then this one's going to go back here. Let's make sure the tuck spot's at the top. Now I've already pre-cut the papers, but it's very simple to match up the papers properly. All right, let's go ahead and uh, glue this one down to the back. I would even say because I'm I'm new I'm pretty new at doing journals that a beginner should do these because these are so fun okay so we got to open 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 and then we have a tuck spot here tuck spot on the two tuck spot here and then um, and then I didn't do another tuck spot until back here, but maybe I should do one, this one, because I have a, yeah, let's do another tuck spot here real quick. That way I could put lots of tags in here, or even bundles of lace would be fun, or ephemera, or both would be fun. So that will close like that. And I've already made an applique satin flower, and I got that inspiration off of um, Ooh La La Vintage Treasures video, latest video. I'll put it in the description box below. I was like, I have got to go make one of those flowers, so I did. <laughs> so it, it, I'm going to wrap it around, put a clip, and put the clip on the front to close this. How much fun is this, guys? All right, now let's start putting um, the papers. Let's put the papers on the little, the little envelope first. And I've, I'm gonna cover them all with this light um, pink writ dyed paper and I've already inked the sides of the pages. I'm gonna show you a couple and then finish it. And 
and then we want to do the inside. Now you don't want to put glue in the middle because then you're going to mess up the, the tuck spot. So you just want to put your glue on the very edge. Now I'm going to ink all edges to these and anything that's kind of like this I'm going to go back through there with the glue and glue it down. Okay. All right, I have glued on all the little papers on the little envelopes. And if anything looks crooked, it's okay because we are trimming everything out with lace or trim. So this is a tuck spot here and a tuck spot here. So here's the inside of the cover. And then we have a tuck spot on the second page. So I'm excited about this one. I'm getting ready to glue all the pink papers and I made this a side tuck here. And then I also made a tuck spot in this one as well and in the back one. And then here's the last page and I will be doing a signature right here. So this very last envelope, I did bring it out just a tad to put a little signature in here. Now I'm gonna go back through here and glue on all the pink papers. We'll do one together and then I'll do the rest. And it's okay. I don't like putting glue in the middle of my pictures. I have made a lot of mistakes doing that. See, and then we're going to be covering up all the flaps on, on the little envelopes. Do you guys see the, the, the design I did on this paper? Right, we're on the last page here and I figured I'd glue this with you So let's take a little look at this. So I'm going to have to put some glue right here first. To seal it off there. All right. I will go back through there and uh, make sure to add in some glue wherever the glue needs to be added at. But this is what we have so far. So we have a flip here and a tuck up here. Everything's still drying though. And a tuck up here as well. So here's the front cover. See I'll have to go through here and put some glue over here. 
And then here's the second page, third page, fourth, and there's a tuck in here. Everything's still drying. Now I know we have a tuck up here somewhere. Yep, yeah, right here. This is the tuck for up here. And once it's dry, I'll take my um, circle punch and do a half circle so it'll be easier to take the tag out. I'll show you. And then here's the last page and a tuck in here. And one up here as well. So I hope that you like this envelope journal tutorial and I hope that you give it a try. And also let me know down in the comments below what you think about the ballerina papers that I have made to put into a kit, into a journal. Let me know what you think about that. But I hope that you like this tutorial and please give it a try. It's so much fun. And I pray and hope that you have a lovely and blessed day today. I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.